I'm Phil Pappas, I'm a scientist with the Department of Sustainability and Environment. I'm based at the Arthur Eiler Institute for Environmental Research uh, and lead a, a team of scientists on wetland ecology and also uh, aquatic invertebrates. Yeah, wetlands are, are really important in that they provide significant habitat for um, plants and animals. They also provide essential ecosystem services, so they provide flood mitigation capacity, so in, in areas they can slow down floods and and, and really um, calm the water down. And culturally, for Aboriginal people, wetlands are important too. For example, the Yorta Yorta Nation in Barma utilise wetlands um, quite heavily. We're really fortunate to have wetlands of international and, and national significance in Victoria. So those wetlands are renowned for their water bird habitat and uh, significant numbers of water birds uh, nesting and foraging in those wetlands. Uh, the Index of Wetland Condition, or, or the IWC, was developed by uh, a small team um, that was led by uh, two DSC divisions and the Arthur Eiler Institute. We got together a, a team of experts from around the country to help us with the development of the index and it was based around a, a set of um, key principles that, which included um, being able to rapidly assess condition we wanted a method that was uh, fairly easy to interpret that natural resource managers such as um, catchment management authority staff could use. And we wanted something that could be applied at any time of the year, so when the wetland had water in it or, or when it was dry. And we wanted something that was repeatable that could be done um, over a number of occasions to, to give us a, an idea of trend in condition. Um, so once we established those principles, we designed an index around that with help from our expert panel. We then rigorously tested it at uh, a number of wetlands in the Wimmera region where we had a significant amount of um, scientific data for those wetlands. We then rejigged the index a little bit and adjusted the scoring based on, on that round of testing. The index is comprised of uh, six what we call sub-indices, so it measures um, in the field mostly the, um, the water regime of the wetland, which is the, um, the timing, um, frequency and duration of inundation of the wetland. It measures the soil, so disturbance to soils. It measures the risk of salinity and also uh, nutrients, nutrient enrichment to the wetland. It also includes a fairly comprehensive wetland vegetation assessment. And we also look at impacts to the bathymetry or what we call the physical form of the wetland. So whether there are levees or, or dams in the wetland. So essentially we're collecting lots of observations and measuring the condition of the vegetation and we're also collecting information on threats as well, other things that might have a bearing on, on condition and the assessors in, in the field will have a, a set of field sheets which they, um, some of which they can get from our interactive mapping site and they can annotate all these things and, and all that data is taken back to the office and, and then entered and that's when we start doing the analysis. The first IWC was uh, focused on high value wetlands, so by that we mean wetlands that are internationally or nationally significant, so they'd be Ramsar wetlands or wetlands listed under the Directory of Important Wetlands Australia. Uh, in the Wimmera region we also selected some regionally significant wetlands as well. So it was really important to, to measure the condition of those because they're our most valued wetland assets and it will give us an idea of um, the trend in condition. So we've, we've essentially benchmarked the condition of all of those wetlands now for the first time. We can come back to them um, in five years time or, or, or 10 years time and, and re-measure the condition to see how they're, how they're, how they're tracking.